sounds like you're describing the detailed process of mass producing truck brake cylinders. This process integrates precision engineering, automated machining, and quality control to ensure that each component meets the necessary safety and performance standards. Here's a brief summary based on what you provided. One, material selection. High strength materials like cast iron or aluminum alloys are chosen for their durability and heat resistance. Two, cutting and preparation. The raw materials are cut into billets or bars in preparation for casting or forging. Three, casting forging, casting. Molten metal is poured into molds for intricate designs. Forging, metal is pressed or hammered into shape for stronger material structure. Four, rough machining. Excess material is removed, bringing the part closer to final dimensions. Five, CNC machining. Precision drilling, boring, and finishing are done, especially for the inner cylinder surface where the piston moves. Six, heat treatment. The part is treated to enhance strength, wear resistance, and durability. Seven, surface finishing. Grinding, honing, or polishing ensures a smooth, low friction interior surface. Eight, coating. Anti-corrosion coatings are applied to prevent rust, particularly for cast iron parts. Nine, assembly. The cylinder body is assembled with components like pistons, seals, and springs, ensuring a secure, leak-free fit. 10, quality control. Every cylinder undergoes rigorous testing before being cleaned, packaged, and prepared for distribution. This combination of precision, automation, and strict quality checks ensures that brake cylinders are reliable for truck braking systems, where safety is critical. If you'd like to explore any specific aspect in more detail, let me know.